Hey, good morning, friends. I am Justin. I get to lead us in today's devotion. And uh, I hope this finds you well today. This is a great Friday. Um, my, You might be able to tell my sinuses have made my voice not work super great right now. So please bear with me on that. You could be praying for me. I would appreciate it. If you are finding me right now or if you're finding me later, I would love it if you would leave a comment in the comment section so that we know that we're connecting here together this way. Uh, today, we're going to talk a little bit about the third part of a take and receive prayer. So you could go back and uh, if you're interested in the other parts of this, you could go back and find the prior two devotions that I did. Um, this is a very simple prayer. It ends with just thinking about God and thinking about ourselves and responding to God and saying, take and receive. Okay? So that's what we're going to do. I do have an announcement before we get going, though. Um, tonight we are doing Holy Spirit Night at the church at 7 p.m. And we're going to be um, doing extended worship, and I love it. It's great. And um, we're actually going to be doing a number of the, the newer um, songs that have come out of the Law Collective uh uh, worship recording. A number of those just came right out of River Heights. And so we'd love to see you there. I'm going to put in the comments section, there's a link, and you can actually listen to the six songs that have already been released with that. We'll do a number of those uh, this evening. At least that's the plan. So uh, again, Holy Spirit Night tonight, 7 p.m. Love to see you there. This, uh, this take and receive prayer, again, has four parts, and this is the third. And this one is titled, God's Labors for Me. Okay, so I'm just going to read it. I'm going to invite you to, you can close your eyes, just relax. I'm going to read this twice. Just be aware of what you notice about this very short thing that St. Ignatius has written about God's love for us. God's Labors for Me. God loves me so much even entering into the very struggle of life. Like a potter with clay, like a mother in childbirth, or like a mighty force blowing into the dead bones, God labors to share divine life and love. God's labors are written large in Jesus' passion and death on a cross in order to bring forth the life of the resurrection. And then he ends with this, and he says, Once once more I question myself how I can make a response. Let me look again to the expression of take and receive. Okay? So that's where we're going to end when I come to the end the second time through. We're going to just put ourselves in a place of whatever we're aware of, whatever you're aware of in your life, aware of um, God's work for you, and I love that. Um, I love that idea. And we're going to say take and receive. We're going to say, God, take and receive us. But first, um, let's just think about that for a second. I love that idea that God is working uh, for us. But also this idea of like a mother in childbirth, like God is actually laboring to bring forth what he has for us in our lives. Um, or he's working like a potter with clay. These are all references to scripture passages. Um, you know, being able to like form us and shape us into um, what's going to be really awesome and useful. God works, uh, works with us, works like with us, you know, changing us, shaping us. And then there's also God works like blowing a mighty force, um, you know, wind into into dead bones. God labors to bring new life, and that's that's from a scripture in um, Ezekiel. Um, God works to actually bring new life out of places where there where there where where there's death. So why don't you take a moment and think about which one of those applies most to you? The idea of um, you know, God entering into the struggle of our lives and then remaking us and reshaping us and forming us like clay, like clay. Maybe that's where you feel like you're most at today. The second one would be like a mother in childbirth. Maybe you need God to be working to birth a new thing into your life. And then the third thing that might apply is something that's been dead that we would uh, 
we would need God to breathe on to bring new life to you. Okay? I'm going to read this one more time, and then we'll just say take and receive, and I'll send you off into your day. Okay? God's labors for me. God loves me so much, even entering into the very struggle of life. Like a potter with clay, like a mother in childbirth, or like a mighty force blowing life into dead bones, God labors to share divine life and love. God's labors are written large in Jesus' passion and death on a cross in order to bring forth the life of the resurrection. So once more, Lord, we consider these things. We consider our lives. We consider where we're at right now. And we thank you for your love for us. And our response today is, Lord, take and receive. You may want to just sit with the Lord after I sign off here. Just wait to see what the Lord might have to say to you. And I hope you have a great day because of the Lord's activity and love in your life, his divine love that we're reading about here. And I do hope to see you soon, okay? Much love, many blessings. Bye.